All right, we're back. Got it all cleaned up, squared up. And after we look at directions, it will mount it. Kind of, okay. So you got these top set of holes, and you got these bottom sets of holes. You will mount it on the bottom, or the top set of holes if you're using a handheld torch lead on a plasma cutter and then you'll mount the adapter to hold a torch at the very bottom on these two plates now if you're using a uh, CNC style torch head which is just a real long uh, cylindrical torch head you'll mount it on these set of holes and these are the two different types of torch holders you got. This one's for a handheld, that one's for a CNC style. So we will use this one. That's what I got. Okay, so we're about a quarter of a hole off. So I'm gonna go put this in the middle. I'm gonna slot this one hole, just so that way at least one hole is somewhat tight and can't flop around. All right, there we are. Nice slotted hole. Hopefully that takes up or allows it to fit now. Be a plenty long enough bowl, I'll say that. Perfect. Super tight on these because you are threading into aluminum and it does not take much to strip aluminum out. Okay. Oh, I don't like that. One of the bolts can hit. that right there I'm gonna get some shorter ones I guess I don't know what other ones there are to use so that's kind of that's what was with it in the um, this kit here or with the uh, bracket okay well I'll find a shorter bolt. All right, got everything wired up uh, inside the loom there. Ran it down. And you're gonna want to put this. These are all the uh, cables controlling the motors. You're gonna want to try to tie it up high, so that way it can move. Where this ain't getting caught up in the bearings you'll probably be okay just to lay it on the ground and let it go or make some sort of a something to hold it underneath 
Not really sure why they didn't include another piece of uh, this cable track to go down the side, but they didn't. So, luckily, I got a trust right here, wood, you know, you know, holding up the roof. So it wasn't no big deal for me to tie and keep it up high. And of course, coming into the back there, you got your X, Y, Z, and A. Um, it's a good idea when you're doing this to mark is it? to mark what wires or what so we don't get them confused and hook them up backwards and you'll know pretty quick when you do I already had this thing fired up just to move it around make sure I had the wires hooked up right and I didn't I had um, these two mixed up the Z and the X and when it did that it made this real real jumpy real quick and this was real slow flipped them around and it worked just fine and of course there's your you got a little USB going into the control box and you got uh, whatever you'd call that wire going up in the computer and you got USB there I don't think it matters what USB you plug it into because the directions really didn't specify and the picture was different from the computer I had or that were sent with it so and of course got it going up the computer or the not computer but the, the screen this is just a TV screen I bought all right, this is the water pan. Obviously, it's going to have water in it. And the way it is now, it's real hard to get water out. So I'm going to put a valve in there. Weld a thread nipple to it. Put it about, I don't know, somewhere about right there. Have this down. So that way I can open it up, drain it into a bucket and get a majority of the water out pretty easily so we're going to cut the threads off of that guy so that way I got some non-threaded metal to weld to then we'll mark it out weld it up and then we'll get it painted
We'll get the tip on there get this thing adjusted to where it needs to actually be I do got to wait there's a plug on the back here the CPC it's just a you know connection for wires I gotta wire that up to this torch height controller so you can see it there we go getting light that that just helps control your torch you can you know move it and you adjust the torch uh you know the the voltage going through it for cuts and whatnot and, and you know a bunch of other stuff whatever it does <laughs> i haven't really read up that much on it we gotta get that wired in which is pretty simple it's just on mine you just wire it up into the uh 
in the center there where it says DV plus and minus, just the center two. Uh, depending on your plasma cutter, it may wire up different. It just depends on what you got and the uh, manufacturer's um, recommendations.